So today we're gonna to be talking about this leg right here, your lead leg. And the role that it plays very much in the downswing is so, so important. Now, as I always talk about on the channel, you guys have options, okay? There are loads of different ways to swing a golf club. But one of the things that you never wanna lose sight of is that it is a pretty athletic movement. And um, what you're trying to do is you're trying to hit that little golf ball there with this golf club as far as you can while still retaining that feeling of control. That's different for every golfer. Somebody might be you know, much older watching this video and somebody might be much younger and it doesn't really matter because it's relative to each individual's scenario. So what we need to do though is that we need to find a way to get you guys moving better through the golf ball. Now what has to happen what has to happen? We swing up towards the top of the backswing position. Depending on how much rotation a golfer does, will dictate how the lead leg mo moves. So, if a golfer does a lot of rotation, then the left leg will, or the lead leg will start to come across more. If a golfer does less, then it will move less. That doesn't matter. But what does matter is as you start the downswing, you start to rotate the pelvis and your chest and everything starts to move progressively over towards your lead side. Now, what this will do is this will move the leg back towards the target. So that will generally happen pretty naturally for most golfers. It's like if I asked you to throw a ball. If I said I want you to throw a ball, you'll step in towards that side and you'll create an element of load underneath that leg quite naturally. And there's a good chance that's happening in your golf swing. What doesn't happen though is what happens next, okay? So what I tend to see for most golfers is they might start the downswing something like so, but then they're stuck and they don't really know how to get through the golf ball. And what you need to understand is that the upper part of your leg needs to move towards the target. So you need to progressively keep that leg now moving through towards the target. Because if it, that upper part of that leg keeps facing forwards, you're gonna get massively stuck. All that energy is then gonna go too early. And you're not gonna be able to sort of get that feeling of sort of rotating and continuing to move through the ball. Now, we see differences. We see pros that have feet which are more sort of perpendicular with the target line. But what happens with those types of golfers is they tend to spin the foot or the foot starts to really supinate. And that's because the amount of force that's going through forces the foot to move in such a way. Now, one of the things that I do, and I personally advocate, is I flare my foot out. And the reason for that is because now you can kind of see, yes, my foot's still gonna have that tendency to roll through the force that's being applied to it as I'm demonstrating now. But I think the bigger thing is that it makes life so much easier getting through the ball like so with a foot which is already flared out facing like that. And that would be a really good drill for you guys to do. So I suggest that to a lot of online students that are struggling through the ball. I'd say, look, why don't you just flare that foot out almost 45 degrees to get yourself going and just hit a few shots where you really post them over that leg and you make sure the upper part of that leg is facing towards the direction where you're going once you've hit the golf ball. And that's gonna be a big, big game changer for a lot of you golfers out there. I'm sure that once you start experimenting with this, getting that feeling of keeping it flex moving in there, and then when you come to that hit, yes, move your chest, move your pelvis towards the target, but you also wanna make sure the upper part of that leg is facing towards the target as well, and that's gonna give you the best chance of getting through the golf ball and stop you sort of stalling out and getting too flicky. That's it for today. See you guys again really soon.